Good old Freddy Fargus. back to Lock It Down Becky. My name is Julia. I'm Julia's mom. And she's a dork that <laughs> doesn't know how to stay quiet until I get back. <laughs> Welcome to our moose rug. I'm playing in a different chair so there's sure to be lots of squeaking and adjusting and garbage. Why can't I walk like this? Are you okay? It's going all right. Yeah, it's going. Is this thing on? Tap, tap, tap. tap, tap. <laughs> one, two, one, two. One, two. Uh, what the hell? What? Boot. 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 What are we doing? What Boot. happened? I don't... I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't remember where we're at. Uh... We have candle wax. And keys. And clothing, notes, boobs. I think these are boobs. What? These are the call girl pictures, yes? Yeah, um, eyeball them. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Ooh la la and va va voom. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that. Cool. Spicy French postcards. Spicy. Alright, um, we're gonna go downstairs. Yes. Trip over our moose rug. Don't forget to actually open the pharmacy counter. Prepare for squeaking. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Guy. Thank you for stocking the shelves. Hello. I talk to you. Let's go practice target shooting. to locate some sort of shooting mechanism. Hmm. We cannot begin until I do that. Details. Playing. Alright. Right. Mind the store. Justice. Justice. Alright. Hot frontier justice. Ooh. Oh, somebody made a poop. Excellent, let's get it. Seriously? Pick it up. Poke the poop. <laughs> There's even flies and everything. What the hell? Dang. That was so rude. Score. Ooh, you bravely, stupidly grabbed the steaming fly-laden horse plop. Fortunately, it seems to be holding together as you place it in your pocket. Ew. Why? <laughs> Gross. All right. I know where the gun is. I think it's in that the grave of our friend or whatever. Um. Yeah, I know it is. Go in the barbershop. Please. Look at a thing. Is duck? Is duck. Duck says quack. I heard that. <sighs> Go in the store. Go in the store. Maybe walk away You're from the suck. store so you can poke the door. And then Go in the store. There you go. Thank you. Wow. He is. What is he doing? Singing? He has learned how to yodel. <laughs> put a fire out last night and, night and the, to, to save the town. Aww, be proud oh, he's me. proud of me. Not my dad. Thanks. Who's that guy? Talk to him. Hello. Fletcher. How's the plumbing business? He doesn't respond. Rude. Apparently, he's too engrossed at reading the latest copy of Scoo Scoocher Down and Examiner. Examiner. <laughs> Okay, um, give the barber the postcards. Okay. Of the scantily clad woman? Yes. Here you go. Score! Ooh la la! <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, I, 
who doesn't like looking at pictures of not exactly naked ladies. <laughs> what are those girls doing? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I'm not sure, but I don't think it's legal on this side of the Sierra Nevada. Excellent. Well, now, your exceptional generosity's gotta be reciprocated. Could I interest you in a free shave? Ooh, no, thank you. Aww. How about a free wisdom tooth extraction? No. Oh, mine already out. I had them pulled in the dental department while I was in college. Needed the extra money for tuition. Well, then, let me see. Study his barbershop's interior carefully. Oh, who's that? Give us the news. Hey, Asta, got it. Uh, take this a bottle of that newfangled nitrous oxide wow. I got off in the Fars Welgo wagon <laughs> last week. Ain't none of those guys around here wants to be the first man too sissy to stand up to my forceps for a little tooth pulling. Thank you, Salvatore. Excellent. So I can use this in my experiments. Oh, Lord, what are we going to be experimenting on with nitrous oxide? Maybe we could hook up some snails to our wagon and, you know, extra superpower. Alright. Next. Uh, Mom's Cafe, please. Mom's Cafe. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mr. Huntino Man. Uh, this is. This is a stupid game. <laughs> it's the best game ever. We have a horse poop in our pocket right now. Show him the horse poop. Sh okay. <laughs> Observe horse poop. Seriously. Oh, we haven't looked at it. <laughs> horse plop. <laughs> Bless you. How could we put this delicately? It's a fragrant, freshly baked road apple. Or is it a pile of corn fritters? Oh, gross. <laughs> That's nasty. Alright, what am I doing? Uh, we are going to get some coffee. Mom offers free coffee to her regular customers. You're as regular as anyone. 11 a.m. every morning, you head straight for the outhouse. Gross. So as usual, you pour yourself a steaming hot cup of joe. Okay, apparently we need to put the horse poop on the floor. Of Mom's cafe. Yes. She's going to murder us. Maybe. Oh, is it to get rid of the flies that she already got? Look what you've done, Freddy Farkas! I'll see you run out of town for this. Oh dear. Ugh. Hop sing, hop to it! Get out here and clean up this mess. Damn these flies. Oh, <laughs> you in big water now. Uh, do I have to- Oh my god! Okay, get out! Exit. What is he doing? I think he's spraying- Okay, that's not what it looks like either. No, it's not, but I think he's spraying pesticide. <laughs> okay, now go to the back of the cafe. Back of the... Oh. Uh, okay. Hello, doggo. Teddy made you. Oh, cool. Wee. Oh, he left the shovel over there. Oh, good. I think we're gonna have to dig up our our dead best friend. Oh, man. This is big oof, Phil. Well, why did we give him stuff to hold on to for us if he was just gonna go and die with it anyways? That's so rude, Mom! Uh, I think so, I can get to the back Huntino, of the cafe. So, Huntino, it reminds you of Leisure Suit Larry because it is the same company that made Leisure Suit Larry. It is the Sierra game. Fuck! Company. Do you not remember how to get to the back of the- No, I don't. I think I gotta go through Mom's... House? House? I- I can't, ah, I can't remember how to get there. Just, just give me a minute. Down. Yeah, on I'm, the other side. Yeah, I'll, uh, I think it's there. Yeah. 
Hmm. Is that right? Yeah. There we go. All right. I don't think that poster used to be there. Is that a pie? It is a pie. I'm gonna steal your fucking pie. I totally steal their fucking pie. <laughs> Yoink. Dropping one steaming hot pie to get another. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Okay, so now we have to go dig up our friend. Uh, okay. Oink. Good lord, the game volume is kind of loud. It sounds good to me. Does it? Yeah, you just turn down your speakers. My, okay, well. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, now we dig up our dead friend? Yes, now we go dig up our dead friend. Alright, dead friend, where's my gun? Are there birds? I don't see any birds. It sounds like birds. Shovel. Uh, it makes- I think it's the sound of the- the sheep thing. Oh, the weather vane. Mm -hmm. Gore! Hmm. We grab- Doug's shovel. Thanks, Doug. Now for not putting oh, things shit. where they belong. Yeah, and now we will use Doug's shovel. Boink. Score. Yikes. Muscles that haven't been used in years begin to groan and whine. But with the gritty determination of a professional grave robber, you toil on and on and on and on. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um... <gasps> oh, okay. You carefully search through the many pockets of Graves' $3 suit until you discover the safety deposit box key you entrusted to Phil so many years ago. Excellent. In a touching display of emotion and hidden desire to carry a little less around with you, you fold up Phil's letter and place it under his folded hands. Why? That's weird. And now he's a correspondence corpse. Oh my god. Okay. Can I um, bury him? Yes, rebury him. It doesn't work like that. It says cover up grave. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Replacing the heaping mound of dirt one shovelful at a time. Over, over and, and over. over. And over and over. Hooray! Should I ditch the shovel? I don't think so. Let's keep it. We might need to, I don't know, hit somebody in the head with it later or something. Hmm. Alright, is there a lump of clay around? What? Don't leave yet. Maybe up above his thing there. I don't know. Burma shave headstones. <laughs> Edward Fiskers. His time grew short, but not his whiskers. Burma shave. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna find clay over here, Mama. Well, it um, says that we need to pick up the clay. Covered grave, get lump of clay. Um. I don't know, just poke things all around. Also, Squeeter wants to come sit in the cat bed. Obviously. Score! Oh! Okay. Alright! There you go. Good job. Lump of clay. Okie dokie. There was literally no indication that I would need to do that, yeah, but alright. Yeah, that all seemed right. a little weird, but... Okay, now let's go to the bank. Right. And get our stuff from the safe deposit box. Alright. Thanks, this way. Hmm. Walking, walking, walking. I made it out of clay. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. Bank uh, by Bob. It's Bank of Bob. <laughs> yes? Uh, poor Drake says that the uh, connection at work is terrible, and he's going to have to reconnect when he gets in the car. Well, that sucks. Alright. Say, it's too bad about your pharmacy being shut down. It must be hard to lose a business so sudden like we here at Bank of Bob sympathize. Want to sell me your property? You won't regret it! Oh! Never! 
you can. Huh. Okay. I think it's the little key. This one? I think so. Look at me, I'm a sight to see. You look pretty scrawny to me. Alright, well, I don't know. Eyeball them until you figure out which one's the Oh, I think it's this one. Okay. Score! You hand the safe deposit key to PH Balance. Really? It'll be ready Tuesday. What? Oh, I mean, allow me to fetch your safe deposit box for you immediately. Thanks, jerkwad. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those little ones right there. Hmm. Wait, don't we get like a super secret room so we can look in it? It's kind of pretty, actually. Oh, it's in the box. Oh! Our twin guns! Twin revolvers. Score! You lovingly lift your pistols from the box where they've been th for the past decade. Score. Score! Oh! Your lucky handkerchief? Oh, now we're really gonna be lucky. The last time you wore this, that was when Kenny shot off your ear in St. Louis. Oh boy. Oh, maybe it's not that lucky. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, looks like everything. Exit. Alright, all done. Thanks, Mr. PH Balance. Cheers, mate. Thank you for using Faith of Love. Hmm. Alright then. Excellent. Now? Whoa. What? It's sped up. Let us go. Oh, dear. Um, perhaps. Why is it mode. so fast? I don't know. The hell happened? So bring the speed guy down. Oh, yeah, that seems. Oh, we should save. We should save. I agree. Save early, save often. Save in the f file. Okay. Alright, let's go to the sheriff's office. So we can shoot him in the face? I would love to shoot him in the face. <sighs> what day is today? In real life? Yeah. Friday? Why would you yeah. even ask me that? I never know what day of the week I... is. <laughs> Look, man. <sighs> Where am I going? <laughs> to the sheriff's office. Sorry. <sighs> so how's everyone's days going? Brain slug. Brain slug? Yeah, that's what I just put in The fuck does brain slug mean? Oh. <laughs> there, you're at the sheriff's office. Huntino just got out of work. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm excited. I like having extra people in the room streaming. Like, just me and Julia is fun and all, but I think it's more fun to... Have an audience. Have an audience, yeah. Um, give him the pie. The and the coffee. <laughs> I thought you meant the cow poop. <laughs> yes. There you go, Sheriff. Have a poop. What is this? I don't know. Oh, that's your clay, right? Oh, right. Uh pie. Here, Sheriff. I will pet my cat. Hi, Sheriff Shift. I know how much a law enforcement person like you does appreciate a good fatty dessert like foodstuffs for breakfast. Where's his donut? Score! Hey, thank you. I've been so hungry I could eat a bear. But do you think I could get a cup of coffee to go with this? Why, sure, Sheriff. But in the meantime, I've been thinking about moving to another city. But I've got no bullets. I was wondering if you have any bullets that would fit an old 45. Hey, sure, son. Here, have a box of these Remingtons. No charge. They're on the county. Wow, I'm surprised. That sheriff's been kind of a jerk to us the whole time. For real. Apparently, pie does you some good. And a coffee! 
Boink. What? Boink. Here's a cup of coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, he takes his hat to us. Oh, nice. Thanks, partner. This sure go good with that apple pie you gave me. I think it's a poop pie. <laughs> You're most welcome, Sheriff. Say, so you wouldn't happen to have a spare gun cleaning kit, would you? These old pistols of mine are dirty as a sin. Here you go, bitch. Okay, son, but this gun cleaning kit will be the last thing I give you. Now get your pistols clean, get your horse packed up, and get your ass out of town. Rude. Alright, well, let's clean our pistols. <laughs> Squeeter biscuits the cat bed. <laughs> He's so cute. Is this it? I think so. Score! With the sheriff's cleaning kit, you lovingly clean and polish your old pistols till they're like new. You remove a fair amount of rust from the barrel. A damn good thing, or you might have had a disaster on your hands. We could have blown ourselves up. Alright, load it. first, then put them in the gun. There. More. There. Yeah. All the oh. memories come rushing back. Of what? Even the ones about you and your first cousin under the dick. Whoa! Whoa! No! Nope. No! Thank you for not nope for seeing dope. that. Okie dokie, goodbye. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Okay, um, save the game. Well, Farkas, I was really hoping you no, would go don't, all don't the way go. out. I'll save the game. Give me a minute. I wanted to save the game and then shoot the... Sheriff? The sheriff. I shot the sheriff. Exactly. Alright, save it under something not... Save it under horse. 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 That, that's saved. That's good. No, it, dude, I have to wait. It has a loading thing. Oh, is that what the head was for? That's what the head is for. Okay. <laughs> Third stream in, and you just now? Yes. <laughs> Alright, shoot him. Uh, shoot him in the face. Okie dokie. Um, boink. Okay. And boink. Shoot him. Shoot him. Aw, oh, just hold on a cotton pick a minute. You mean to tell me you, some kind of western hero, is just gonna walk in and shoot the sheriff in cold blood? No fair fight? No shootout in the middle of the street? No nothing? Yes. Does that sound like an act of a hero, or does it sound like the act of a coward? Um, a coward, I guess? You bet your boots! Let's just pretend that whole thing didn't happen, shall we? Let's see if you can get through this whole thing without shooting anyone outright, okay? Okay? Well, shit. Well, that's disappointing. I didn't like that guy. Hey! It's Dan Dazzle! Hey! Welcome to our stream, Dan! We really enjoyed watching your stream yesterday. Mm -hmm. That Detroit Become Human game was actually really cool. I'm, I'd am i never heard of it before, so I was pretty excited to learn about a new game. I had, but I had never seen it, so... Maybe we'll... I don't know. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe. I, I'm not maybe really I, I might play it by myself, honestly. <laughs> I'm not really sure that my computer can handle it. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a computer game. Oh, is it? I think what, it's were, what were you playing it on? What, um, like computer or PlayStation or something? I think the... I think the thing said that it was PlayStation. Uh... I didn't think you were bad at it. And besides, it's one of those games that you have to unlock all the endings for it anyway, so... I just like games like that in general. Okay, to the pharmacy! To the Farkas! Oh, there's a hole in our window. Hey! Who threw a brick? It's just Haters. rude. Haters gonna hate, <laughs> that's what happens. Hey, where's my friend? I don't know. Excuse me, my, my guy. Where... Where'd you go? We was gonna go shooting. I'm concerned to where our where our handyman went. Is he upstairs? Mm -hmm. uh, nope. Weird. 
Maybe it be a glitch? <laughs> yes, take the stairs. <laughs> oh, we got this game on GOG. <laughs> they have the floppy disk version and the, uh... The s what is it? The CD version? The CD version. <laughs> We're playing the floppy disk version. So the reason we're playing the floppy disk version is because although the CD version has the voiceovers on it, apparently the guy that did the voiceovers got tired of doing the voiceovers, and so he just bailed. And it misses out on a lot of the humorous comments and hints that the game gives you. So, Which is lame. Yeah. Besides, we could read. I sometimes. <laughs> Here, use the eyeball on our window. See if it tells us what happens. Oh. That's the left helpful. pharmacy window. Super helpful game, thanks. <laughs> With all the dust out here, it's a pain to keep clean. True. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, to the graveyard? Again? It says walk to the screen outside the graveyard. Oh, okay. I'm gonna speed up our guy a little bit. Boink. Ugh. You could speed him up a little more, it's alright. Ah, uh, I know. I know, you don't want to go too fast, because, you know, we'll fall into the moat and get eaten by the crocodile 1700 times. You know what? <laughs> I don't need your sass! <laughs> Is the screen outside the cemetery? The one with the fence? Uh. So don't go in. No, go I think it's the, that one. The well ventilated outhouse screen. <coughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's our dude. So. Is that our dude? Isn't that our the guy that works in our pharmacy? I guess so. Hello, Mr. Guy. Maybe that's what we had to do. We had to walk into the pharmacy. Oh, Srini, I think I'm ready to going. try some target shooting. You ready? Of oh, certainly. I am without a desire to wait any further to stand in front of your blazing guns and take my life in your hands to help you perfect your shooting. Yikes. How do you want to start? Perhaps it would be best if you place some targets upon the fen posts for commencement. Alright. And what do we always use for target practice in the middle of the woods? Beer bottles. Oh. Drink it. Drink it? Well, there's got I thought beer. we just filled it with water. It's got... <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, on the fence? The, the fence. The fence. Oh, oh! Yes. There you go. Gotcha. Go ahead, make our day. Oh boy. I'm one bad hombre, do your worst. I'm feeling pretty tough, but I don't tr but don't bust my chops. I had too much tequila last night, go easy. Shoot, um, I am not sure. I, I, I'm gonna own up to it. I had too much tequila last night, <laughs> let's go easy. <laughs> so bad. I hit that. That was great. I'm 
impressed. This is why I, this is why I play ranged characters <laughs> because of terrible point and click games. Ah oh, well, <laughs> you are not so bad after all this shooting. Why thanks, Rainy? My life and the lives of every man, woman, and ruminants in this town depend on my being quick with a gun. And did you mention earlier that your life is in danger most forthcoming? Yes. Something like that. Might I suggest that you might be excellent to placing a disguise upon your person, thereby making it appearances that Freddy Farkas has no longer around in this loca locality? Yeah, all right. thinking. I need a disguise, something that will strike terror into the hearts of bad guys. Like our neck tie? I know, a bat! I'll disguise myself as a bat, and you can be Srini the Boy Wonder! Have you got leotards? <laughs> Pardon me for asserting, but this bat thing is really oaky. You're right, too juvenile. Let's see, how about... Might I suggest a skin-tight costume with flowing cape placed upon the manly chest thereof? A large F for Farkas. <laughs> Farkas starts with a P! No, that'd never work. I don't want people to know I'm Freddy, remember? Then perhaps you are needing to do something about that right ear, or rather the lack of right ear. Dang it, you're right. Everyone knows me as the one-eared pharmacist. I need to make a new one somehow. Maybe forge one out of metal or something. A potato. You should just carve a potato. <laughs> I'll give some thought and meet you back at the pharmacy once I've completed my disguise. Alright. Alright, definitely save it. Oh. Okie dokie. Save. Under... Horse. horse. Is good. Yeah, horse is good. Okay. Go to the mercantile shop. Oh, okay. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. You didn't need that one anyway. <laughs> Such rude. <laughs> uh, the blacksmith. I wonder if everybody's gonna come back to town once we figure out why all of the shops are closing. I like to think they're all gonna fix their broke-ass windows. If only. Uh, do, do, do. Though I still maintain the Dirty Sheets Motel is probably better off having closed. Uh, yeah. Cause ew. Okie dokie. Boink. Is that Custer? Is he walking around waiting until nightfall so he can go visit the ore house? <laughs> I... I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Whitlin Willie. From the back, you hear Chester say, Help yourself, I'll be right out. Alright. Use the wax on Willy. Okay. Boink. Uh, boink. Boink. <laughs> Willy, I'm in need a way to disguise my ear. Do you think you could, uh... Do something creative with this something in the shape of an ear, perhaps? Offhand, I'd say... Do it your dang self! My nap time's coming up shortly, I had a hard day of whittling. But you could maybe do some lost wax casting with this sucker to do the trick. Lost what? Oh, what? No! No! What's lost wax casting? That's casting with an apostrophe, sonny, not an ing. Anywho, you can mix all sorts of things by making a wax positive, using clay to make a mold, then melting down the metal and pouring it into a mold. Make a mold, you carves whatever you want out of the wax, you see. That's what we call a positive. Once you got the wax positive, you take some clay, see, and you pack the clay around the positive. You just leave a little hole in the top so you can get the wax out. That's science. <laughs> so now you got your wax inside the clay. Well, that's just heat that sucker up till the wax goes all oozy and you pour the wax out. That's the lost wax part, you see. Now, you got your empty clay mold, what we call a negative, you melt down your metal, and you pour the metal into the negative, once it hardens, you can just scrape off the clay, and there you are. Did you get all that? Did you write it down? Uh... <laughs> well, what's your restore button for, kiddo? Now scram booch! Wow, that was a lot of words, Willie. It's a good thing we've got to walk through. Yeah. Yes, seriously, dude. Okay, so leave, and then go back in. We need to steal his knife. Uh, He's gonna take a nap. What? I can't read. His face kind of looks like a blueberry. Will he? A little bit. Go in the store! <sighs> Excellent. 
take one of this stuff. Sorry, Willy. We're just borrowing it. It's fine. We're the hero. Obviously, we're not thieves. Willy's been narrating this whole time, so he knows he'll get it back. It's true. Alright, use the knife on the wax. Kenefi and wax. With your newly acquired skills, you whittle the candle wax into the shape of an ear, one that should theoretically attach snugly to the small knot of cartilage that remains of your oh, original gross. ear. I don't want to see it. Ew. Ew! Where's the warning on that box that says "Warning: This game contains references to small knots of cartilage." Having inadvertently gunked up the knife, good and proper with wax, you toss it away, hoping that Willie finds it sooner or later and thinks he stupidly dropped it. That's not a hero's mo move, dude. That's just wrong. Okay, so now we have our fake ear that's made out of wax, and now we use the clay on the wax ear. You carefully pack the clay in and around the wax ear, leaving some of it open so that you can pour the wax out later. Perfect. Now to the pharmacy. Oh, um, Dan, we're totally using a walkthrough, because neither one of us has ever played this game before, and so I read about it online, I was doing some research for when we did the King's Quest games, and I, I read about this Freddy Farkas game, I was like, this sounds ridiculous and terrible, and we must play it. So so that we don't have to keep restoring and loading and all of that over and over and over again. Um, we looked up a walkthrough. Definitely keeps things going. Score! Yeah, there was an unfortunate incident when the town was set on fire that actually one of our friends who was with us in the stream had to look up how we catapult the, uh, um, what was it? baking soda mm -hmm. into the fire to put it out. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, these old games are, like, ridiculous sometimes in the stuff that they just assume that you know how to do, mm -hmm. or that somehow is intuitive that you're gonna know what to do, and it's really, really hot. Awesome. Okay. Go. Light the alcohol lamp. Okie the dokie. You grab the metal one. I did. Okay. Uh, right. Matches thing. Alright. Um, use the wax mold on it. Okay. Slowly starts to melt. It spatters on the work table, resulting in an empty ear shaped mold. Hot doggy! And a waxy tabletop, but that's not important. Excellent. Okay, now we need to use the medallion in the crucible. Uh, this... Uh, oh, oh, this one. Yep. <sighs> Good lord, Freddy! Okay, then... Melt that. Heat that bitch up. Heat it up. Slowly begins to melt. It's nearly completed. Now the crucible containing molten silver. Excellent. Now pour that into. I'm not sure which way you wanted to do it. One on the other. No, I have to do it this way because it doesn't let me put this down. Okay. All right, into the mold. Excellent. Now we have a silver ear. All right. I guess. Use the. We use the mold on the crucible. Use the hand icon on the silver ear. Okay. And okay. We gotta get rid of the wax, I guess. Boink. Score. Scrape the clay off and discard it, leaving you with a gleaming silver ear. Beautifully done. With an ear like this, you could, dare I say it, rule the world. <laughs> okay. Exit. Exit. Now what? Um, Do I have to put it on? to screen. I melted his freaking silver metal. Sorry, buddy. Like a jerk. And also, thank you for your contribution. Talk to of the Serini. Boink. Hey! <laughs> Walk over. Were you born in a barn? You can't just talk to people across the store like that in the completely empty store with nobody that it's gonna bother, but you know what? Well, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, never mind. It's fine. Hello. 
Srini, I think I'm ready to get dressed. Very good, then. You start to dress, and I will assist you in the shortest order. All right. Um, to the closet. Oh. Uh. Seriously? <laughs> we had yeah, to walk back here and tell him that? there to tell him that we were ready for him to help us with our clothes. He's not our butler. He is now. Okay. boots, your clothes, your guns cleaned and loaded, your silver ear, and your lucky neckerchief. You're ready to get dressed and assume your identity as the gunslinging stranger. Return to your penthouse suite. I atop the glittering Farkas Pharmacy in beautiful downtown Gorge Gold. There, Serena greets you and solemnly assists you in the final preening. <laughs> it's a somber yet somehow exciting event. Excellent. Wow. I look awesome. Up. You are Freddy Farkas. You are most indeed a picture of stately mysterious strangeness. Nobody will be positive to recognize you any now. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, nice! Uh, of gold owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. If anyone asks, Freddy Farkas left town. If I don't come out of this alive, the pharmacy is yours. This is generosity of the highest order, my dude. As for me, I would like to open a pharmacy on the reservation for my people, but what if that is fated to be the one in the hands of someone who is not on <laughs> Luck be with you, Freddy Farkas. I am proud now. Alright, save the game. I can't. We're having a moment. Fade to black, then save the game. Act 4, showdown at the Hallelujah Corral. Stage was set for Freddy Showdown. What? Did I say slowdown? I meant showdown. No, I did say showdown, didn't I? I thought I did. I won't show. <laughs> Anywho, now that Freddy was wearing his silver eagle thing and his old gunslinging duds, nobody stepped in Srini recognized him. Not even Sadie Overy or Penelope knew who he was. They thought Freddy had skipped town. And they thought this new guy was just a handsome, silver-eared stranger who happened to be especially up on pharmacology. Now, Freddy didn't have a lot of time to lose because things in course school was getting worser and worser. Save it. Save it, save it. Okay, now I will save okay, it. Okay, save it over one that we haven't saved yet. Uh... You want me to make a new one, you mean? Uh, make it kids. Just pick kids. <laughs> okay. Okay, to the saloon! The saloon? Whoop. Who's that guy? Can we talk to that guy? Uh... He's wearing a sign. Hey, hey, you, my guy. Guy. <laughs> Hop and Chester won't recognize you with your new disguise. You approach him with a friendly smile. Say, partner, that's a woeful little sign you're carrying there. Will polish ears for stagecoach fare? What's the problem? Why so down on your luck? Well, I tell you, even though I usually don't talk to silver disguised strangers, there's a man inside who's the best gold damn poker cheat I've ever seen. I never even knew he was stealing my store till it was all over. Let's see. You see, I bet everything I own, including my store, on a queen high straight flush. And that son of a gun was holding a king high. Don't feel bad, fella. I would have probably done the same thing. By the way, did you get this gambler's name? Name? Sure did. Wheaton Hall is his name, but everybody calls him Aces, and I can see why. Thanks for your time, and I hope things work out for you. I think I might just pay Mr. Aces a little call. Good luck to you, stranger, if you're gonna get into that game. Thanks, I'm wearing my lucky neckerchief, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's go poke him. And save it again, just in case. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
around with a lot of guys and a lot of cats. Oh, right, save. Okay, let's go um, look at the poker people. Not poking people. Not poking people. Got looking it. At looking at the poking people. Mrs. Hall, slick big time back east riverboat gambler, has turned to the saloon's turned the saloon's friendly poker game into vicious high stakes gambling, winning money, land, buildings, and businesses from the local bumpkins. <gasps> I saw that. Okay, we are supposed to click the hand icon on his third hand. The hand icon. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> You're cheating. That's a fake left hand. Your real hand is hidden under the table. Stranger, you're correct. Almost. As you see, I have no cards on my left hand. I only have this! <gasps> Shoot the brass rail at the bottom of the counter behind you. Ah! Right, he's gonna shoot us in the back. Gotcha. Wrong button. Uh, Shoot the brass rail behind you. Oh my god! <laughs> Take that, you underhanded guy. He did it! What a manly man! Riverboat gambler in the corner pocket. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Ah, it's Larry! Stairs. The stairs? It's finally time to go up on the balcony. Mm -hmm. Remember how at the very beginning uh, we yeah. thought that there was no reason for that? Alright. I'm sad he doesn't jingle when he walks. He should now. He should be like, clean, oh clean, shoot, clean, clean. You encounter dozens of rowdy cowhands from that cattle club outside of town, carelessly firing their guns everywhere and they were frightening not to mention killing the locals. Jerkwads. What stampede the women raped the cattle? Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> Gross, dude! Luckily, the rowdy cowboys don't notice the youth from down below. Excellent. Okay, put the can of nitrous on the balcony. On the balcony. Let me add those cattle! They seriously just said that. Down the stairs. Yep, back down the stairs. Where to? Uh. Go just outside the brothel. Okay. No, go down. Down. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Well, the brothel's in the complete other direction. Oops. <sighs> You're totally right, and my internal map is terrible. Yeah. You're welcome. How does it feel to be so right? I... <laughs> Can't even believe that I actually said that you were right. Uh -huh. I know, you're speechless. It's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> Let me oh, cool. Without warning, you heard gunshots out in front of the saloon. There's a lot of yelling and shouting, too. What's going on out there? Oh, I 
can't go out that way. God damn it. Let me out! My bad. Well, you got to admit, fella died trying to defend his town. Now, we all either had to leave town or get shot up anyway, so it's not as if Freddy done any real good, but it was still exciting to have him around for a while. I guess that story don't end so good. Let's see, have I told you one about the traveling band uniform salesman and the librarian? Well, it seems there was trouble in River City, and they had this pool table, and... Two overs. <laughs> It's a good thing we saved it, huh? Yeah, I don't think I... Oh, yeah. we didn't save it after that? No. Oh, but... Well, at least you know what to do. <sighs> and the doorbell just rang. <laughs> Did it really? You know what? Damn it. You're a cheating I'm gonna dickhead. Back. Yada yada yada. Nitrous again. Yep, gotta set the nitrous again. My bad. Do, 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 do. <sighs> okay. Cowboys and rowdy, stupid people. They want to molest our women and cows. Evidently, there is a reason we go up by the church. Apparently. So we don't get shot by the rowdy hooligans in front of the town. Okay. Yeah. Good plan. Okay. I think I can go down over here. Um, yes. Otherwise, you go to the left. Uh, did you save it recently? Too late. No, a sharp pain in the chest. God damn it. Oh. Okay. Did I set the nitrous? Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Did I say save it? I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember to save it after this time. Because <laughs> otherwise you're going to choke me. I will choke you. face. You're weird. He is like the 
stereotypical cowboy guy, right? As opposed to our clean-shaven hero? Yeah. But our hero does have the butt chin, so... I say go to the left. Oh, and save it. Yeah. Good call, Julia. Yeah. I'm glad you remembered. This time. <laughs> kill you. You're not gonna kill me. I might. You'll just kill Freddy again. No. It's fine. <laughs> go to the left. Yeah, Huntino says, save! <laughs> Eventually we'll find a way to get to the brothel without getting shot. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, thank God. Excellent. Okay. Straight All the way down. down. Gazebo. The gazebo? Yep. Oh, I can see the nitrous from here. Yep. Wow. What are you wowing? Huh. Alright. Shoot the nitrous. Oh, I hit the options. Uh. Gun. Nitrous. Take careful aim. Squeeze off the shot! You did it! You shot off the canister's valve. Wow. Scored. That's fantastic. Oh my god, I killed them! They just fall down laughing. I think they're just laughing. They laughed themselves to death! Oh, well, excellent. What a well-placed bullet. Of course, he didn't have much time to celebrate. The sheriff and the banker and their mysterious employer had figured out the mysterious silver Year stranger might be a little too much for them amateur rowdies to handle. So, they call in some big guns from down south, just as backup, don't you know? Alright, save it. Okay. We're getting to the... almost the end. Alright, let's go to Main Street and shoot some bad guys. Oh, cereal? Yeah. Get your shooting pants on or whatever. I got it. <laughs> okay, also, just so you know, you can shoot the vultures and the snails. Ooh. So oh, it's like, should I pick up a snail? Like a shooting gallery. I don't think you can. Shoot him. Shoot him. Screw you, bad guy. Die. Yeah, I'm in a cutscene. There is lots of noises. noises. Wow. <laughs> I knock off the sound effects already. Thank you. What's that rotten smell? Oh no, it can't be! Oh! You recognize that smell from your old days as lawman. dangerous than Jesse James. Meaner than Johnny Ringo. Deadlier than William Mooney. More fun at cocktail parties than Rooster Cockburn. <laughs> it's the legendary Lever Brothers. Yep, it's us, handsome silver-eared stranger. Is your hat made out of bread? I think it is. And we're here to put you six feet under. Under what? Your fervent prayer is that your few minutes of target practice with scenery will be sufficient preparation for odds like this. Mm -hmm. Alright, Julia. Shoot the crap out of them. Partner, I can outgun the Magnificent Seven. Bring them on. Well, I won at tiddlywinks the other day. Ah! I'll give it my best shot. Let's <laughs> face it, I'm a wuss. So how lucky are you feeling, punk? Tiddlywinks. All right, Tiddlywinks it is. No, not the sheep. Oh. Ugh. What the hell was I supposed to do? You have to shoot the snails, the vultures, and the bad guys. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. This is a good game. Damn it. Okay. It's okay. You can just like click through it. 
lame. Because we know what happens. That's alright. Maybe save it right before you make it to the top. Totally wings, man. Totally wings. No, that's fine. So, do you think you picked the middle hardness? Yeah. Option? Maybe we should go for easy. I didn't even realize it was an option. Option. Well, can I save right here? I don't know. Guess I'll uh, save it under that last one. No, JK. Look, man. I had one hand. <laughs> Oh, it's too bad you can't speed up the speeding. Mm -hmm. But then you don't want to keep it that way because then the targets will go by too fast and you won't be able to get them. Clickety, clickety, clackety, dude. Okay! Tiddlywinks! Tiddlywinks, okay. No sheep. No sheep. Just the bad guys. They're bad guys. Shoot him. Shoot him. That's a lady! Don't shoot the lady. There we go. It's like, um, you know that game of the hunt. Yeah. Oh. Why can't I shoot the TNT? I don't think you want to. Because then you'll load up and die. That's why you can shoot. Oh. Did we do good? With his refurbished shooting skills, Freddy was able to blast the Leaf Brothers to smithereens! Excellent. Good job. Wicked. Now, with those varmints out of the way, Freddy figured that was the end of the story, but. Oh, I accidentally clicked. Too fast, I had didn't no mean idea what to. Happened. What was that? Oh, but another dude. Could it be? Nah. Oh, he would be way out here in the middle of nowhere. You haven't heard that chord in years, and yet, here it is again, strangely recognizable after all this time. In your heart, you know it must be him, and yet, how did he find, find us? <gasps> Will he be fooled by your disguise? Probably not. Does he still eat paste? <laughs> oh! Kid, I want you out of town by sundown. Sure, stranger. I'll be riding out of town well before sundown. Leaving your sorry carcass for the buzzards to pick apart. Will not. Will too. Not. <laughs> Two. Mm. I refuse to play this juvenile word game with you. <laughs> I refuse to play this juvenile word game with you. What are you doing now? Repeating everything I say? What are you doing now? Repeating everything I say? So that's why they call you Kenny the Kid, because you're nothing but an immature little kid. An anal retentive case of arrested development with an unresolved or oh Oedipal. Oedipal complex and probably codependent to boot. Ouch. You know, you were a punk back oh, when I faced you in St. Louis and you're a punk now. Say your prayers, outlaw. Say your prayers, outlaw. Cut that out! St. Louis? I didn't know anybody with a silver ear in St. Louis. You seem vaguely familiar. Maybe we'll have time to compare yearbook photos. In hell! <laughs> Shoot him! I can't. It won't let me. Shoot him! Did we just die? It. The mouse wouldn't move. Uh huh. No. Oh no! Do we have to do duck hunt again? No. Well, I knocked the gun out of my hand, hero, but it weren't good enough to keep me from hitting you first. Sorry, I got a bit too sloppy when I pierced your ear there. Har har. I reckon you will be bled to death in a few minutes. Guess I can tell Penelope that you won't be interfering with her plans anymore. What? Penelope? But, but, what? Your head is swimming, but you know you heard him say Penelope. Could it be? Could she be the cause of all of this? No! But my girlfriend! This is terrible, and my ear is bleeding. That's my good ear! Okay, um, grab the scarf. Grab the scarf. Go up to your inventory. Oh, I got it. Excellent. Okay. 
<laughs> There's major arteries up there, apparently. Save the game. Every remaining out of strength, you pull yourself up and head off towards the schoolhouse to see Penelope. But first, you're gonna. Penelope the sweet. Penelope, your beloved. Penelope the, the traitor! traitor! I dragged For his bleeding sake. self over to the schoolhouse, the anchor, and Hurt was just ripping at his guts like a swarm of bot flies on Roadkill. Only worse because Freddy, unlike Roadkill, was still alive. The schoolhouse door was unlocked for once, and Freddy walked right on in. But not before saving the game! I can't! Ah! Freddy, please! Oh, thank God. We'll save it on that one. Yeah, that's fine. We're almost, we're almost to the end. Wow. Twist. Freddy stepped inside, Penelope was standing at the desk packing in a hurry. She didn't even notice him come in. Gazing at her like that, Freddy saw her eh, for the conniving snake in the grass she really was. All the bitter hurt and betrayal and rage was too much for Freddy to hold down. It churned around him inside. It finally inside welled up, bubbling, bubbling to the surface. surface in a furious storm of outrage, and Freddy cried out, Hey, Penelope! <laughs> oh, why, it's you, the silver, handsome-eared stranger. Handsome, silver-eared stranger, you mean? Oh, right, I, uh, I thought Kenny had taken care of you. Are you kidding? He did just the opposite. He hurt me. Just look at my ear! Oh, you poor man. You poor, brave cowboy. Okay, put the... the it says we're supposed to put the guns down. By clicking on the hand icon in the inventory. You're wounded. Here, I'll just tear this strip off my petticoat. Yes! Penelope placed her hands upon her bodice and began to slowly unbutton it. Oh lord. <laughs> you know, ever since I saw you capture that big bad gambler at the saloon, I've been thinking about you. Oh lord. Thinking about how I wanted you. No, no. She slowly slipped her hands under the fabric. This be my Penelope? Is it hot in here or is it just me? Am I the only one breaking out in hives? Yes. Thinking about how I needed you. And before Freddy knew it, Penelope yanked a derringer from her bosom and aimed it at him. Dead? Drop him, gunslinger. Now. Okay. So, take your hand icon on the guns. Buckle your holsters, letting your gun slip to the floor. Okay, there's a slate on the desk right there. We're yeah. gonna grab that. Penelope appears to relax a little, but her finger's still on the trigger of the derringer. Looks like she might shoot at any moment. Oh! Our underpants fell down! What?! <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> we took our belt off. That's funny. She grabs the slate and whip it around just in the nick of time. Ching! bend down to pick up your gun belt, Penelope hurls the derringer straight at your head. Click the hand icon on the chair until you fall. Ow! Did she just knock us out? Yeah. Huh. Before I kill you, Mr. Gunsling and Stranger Hero Type, let's find out who you really are behind that silver ear. Uh, how- My ear! Freddy! You! Yeah, it's me. Oh, oh, I goodness. suck! Well, she said something. I'm sure it was important. Boy, you can take the wicked, villainous, hoodwinking, double-crossing lot- Oh, so Jesus! Uh -huh, slut of a school teacher, but you can't take the school teacher out of the wicked, villainous, hoodwinking, double-crossing lying slut. Why, Penelope? Why? Why on earth have you done all this? I suppose I can tell you. You know too much already, so I can never let you live. I finished my education back in western Pennsylvania at the local M Meadville's Normal School when I saw a small ad on the school bulletin board seeking teachers for a lovely little wet village way out west. I wrote a letter of inquiry and was offered the position by the Course Gold Board of Education. They even sent me a stagecoach fare. Soon after my arrival, which you saw in the prologue, I believe, I noticed <laughs> the oily swamp behind the schoolhouse. Being a good Pennsylvania oil country girl, I grasped immediately that Course Gold was literally oozing money. I could never afford to buy mineral rights on the meager pittance they pay a single unwed female teacher, so I made a little arrangement with Mr. Balance. 
closed whichever mortgages he could and convinced Sheriff Shift to shut down everyone else. Balance uh, would get the land and buildings for Song and give me the mineral rights I wanted as long as I gave him what he wanted. But Penelope, you seem to be such a sweet, young, innocent woman! How could you be such a sleazebag?! It had to be me, uh, Freddy. Don't you see? It's always the person you least suspect. I didn't suspect Srini. Could it be him instead? It's a little late for that now. <laughs> Wait, I really didn't expect me! <laughs> well, if it's you, then I'm doing the town a favor by disposing of you, aren't I? Penelope snickers cruelly, then, readying her handbag, she eyes the lantern sitting on the new post. How clumsy of me. Of course, Gold will be needed a schoolhouse anyway. Uh oh. Shit. I, so, wait! There are a lot of other people I didn't suspect! <laughs> right, poke the chair, poke the chair, poke the chair, fall over, save the game. I'm poking it! Keep poking it! Poke it, poke it, poke it! There we go. You scooch your chair closer and closer to your precious silver ear and just manage to snag it. I uh, will save it, I guess. Save it, save it. I don't have to save it. Save it. Save it. Uh, use the ear on the floor, then on the ropes. Folders. <laughs> we shall allow you to choose the manner of your demise. Say what? Sorry, you took too long to decide. Well, yeah, perhaps one of the swords off the of silver board is my book blackboard. Alright, grab a sword. Sword it is. He'd gotten so close to saving Corsgold from falling into Penelope's mercenary clutches. So Penelope went ahead with her little scheme. She brought up the town real cheap and made millions in the oil industry. She died just a few years back, but she was so rich that she had herself froze solid till they could find a way to bring her back to life. Ain't that a hoot? Oh, I wasn't good. 
trying to. for the end of the game. Like, Shit. literally the end of the game. Ah, oh, fuck. Um... Why do you, no, do I'm you. not trying to! Hush! Relax, take a breath. Who can get this woman? Whacker! 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know how to do this. I don't know either. Click it on her. Are you serious? This is a button mashing? Ugh! Okay, apparently I have to pick the wimpy. Pick the oh no, I'm gonna die? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna die level. Let's go. Ah, here we go. Excellent. Hell yes! yes. Aha! Us, oh is. no! Curses, Curses you, you foiled, foiled me! It's not a foil, it's a saber! A foil is straight <laughs> and has two sharp edges, unless it's the smaller French foil, in which case it's dull and cheaply for the questions that we're trusting. A saber, like this one, is curved and has one sharp edge. As a teacher, I remember that's a team. You, of all people, should have known that. Oh no. Defeated and corrected. Now I really feel bad. Thank God for my high school intramural sports partner, otherwise I'd be kind of cheating already by now. Okay, throw the ear at the man. When it lets you. Why, it's you! I recognize you now from the old neighborhood. Freddy! What's up? Good to see you again, Kenny. Hope I didn't hurt your hand out there in the street. Whoa. Is that you out there? I didn't recognize you. You've done something with your hair. <laughs> Not my hair, Kenny, but with this. Yeet! Yeah. Oh my god! And your sharpened ear like a Chinese throwing star, you whip it across the room at Kenny and it catches him right in the throat! Dude! Whoa! <laughs> RX! House is on fire. Bye, Felicia. Kaboom! Go rest, young man. Yes, sir, by gum and by cracky. With his one good ear all mangled and grody, Freddy managed to leap from the schoolhouse just seconds before it went up in the biggest conflagration course gold ever seen. The truth came out about Penelope and how she'd been plotting to buy up the oil rights. There was no earthly way she could have survived that blast. Still, it were curious how they never recovered her body. Sheriff Shift and PH Balance were run out of town on rail. The townsfolk leased the oil rights to some big developer soon. Everybody was rolling in dough, sprucing up the town and revitalizing coarse gold. Me? I eventually found my Whitland knife all gunked up. I don't remember dropping it. I must have had a spell of stupidity or something. And as for Freddy, well, he made himself another couple of silver prosthesi, one to replace the ear that Kenny just showed off, and one to replace the silver ear that ended up fatally lodged in Kenny's windpipe. <laughs> what with all the fuss, Freddy was able to keep his gunslinging identity a secret, and it were a good thing too, because Freddy's adventures was far from over. But that little nipper is another story. Now, get off my lap, I'm starting to compact my vitals. <laughs> Ballad of the end of the game of Freddy Farkas. Thank you, Lord. Oh man, this is the only time that having the CDs would have been good. I'm not singing it. No, I was gonna sing it. <laughs> the whole town still remembers how the schoolhouse was blown to embers. Though it was his body was never ever found. <laughs> All the sheriff and the banker left the folks of course gold red with anger. So tired and feathered. Down on the pink ooze, where the engine hearts still burn. Well, the townsfolk safe from danger, talking about that.
that silver ring stranger? Where he did come from? Where will he return? Farkas. Freddy Farkas. <laughs> Black, Black gold fields were his legacy. y'all well that game was definitely something <laughs> I, I appreciate you guys joining us for the uh, <laughs> what team you said it brought to you oh, excellent I I would totally play that game again we didn't get all of the points we missed the snail and the something else in act two I don't know but we were stinking close. Did you see how many points we had at the end? No, I don't know. It was, I don't know if you would show me. I don't know. No. Okay. Maybe after all of the... The... Ooh, that's new. Oh, that's it. Take your best shot, and you'll die laughing. <laughs> Excellent. Open the megaphone light. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's more likelihood of seeing Wang in this game. No, no <laughs> Wang, no Wang! There wasn't even side boob like in Fantastic Four. I guess we'll go back to Chariot then. Right now? Well, not right now. You! I have to know. Why? Oh lord. Why are we going back through this? I'm not sure. I'm interested if there is something like it. It looks the same. It does. Wait, Wait. Josh, can I ask a question? <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Shelly, how many times are we going to do this scene? It's just that I don't understand my motivation for the speech. Oh, jeez. It is like Marvel. I mean, why would Penelope reveal this to Freddy when she- Why doesn't she just kill him and get on with it? Just do it. <laughs> All right. Get home tonight. This is about acting, Gil. You wouldn't know anything about it. Wow. Shell, it's just a plot device so the audience understands what's going on. Otherwise, we leave a lot of unanswered questions. Can't we put it in the manual instead, Joshy, sweetie? It's so dull. No. Then they might read it before they finish the game. Ready to take it again? I suppose. And action. Nobody reads the manual. It's true. <laughs> well, actually, we had to read the manual for More that the one that, yeah. thing. But. Do -do 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 What's going on here? Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with how good this game was. Yeah, it was great. I mean, for a cheesy. Ow! Oh, oh god. <laughs> Oops, cut. Seriously, outtakes, I love it. Yes, I'm cut, and I'm bleeding too. <laughs> I hope it's serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna sue. sue. This is what happened to Margaret Hamilton, you know. Where are you bleeding? Okay, so hold on. For the kids at home, Margaret I'm Hamilton is the woman that played the Wicked Witch. <laughs> and never. she actually did get set on fire. Oh my god. So, there you go. <laughs> this is all your fault. Can you suffer through one more take, Gil? Sure, Josh O, and I'll bleed to death, but you'll have your game. That's what you want, isn't it? Wow. So come on, let's do it. What are we waiting for? Come on, let's go! The Use the pain directed at Shelly! 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. This is even better. I didn't expect this at the end. Because, like, who the heck sits through all the credits? You guys, apparently. Well, but this is funny. Oh, my formal fellow, I am but a wary traveler from a land... From the land far, far away. Cut. What was wrong with that? Is he Italian? <laughs> the <laughs> accent slipped, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That was a perfect. She don't know an Indian accent if, <laughs> if she hits you over the head. <laughs> I didn't hear any Italian creeping in. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to go into my trailer. I can't work under these conditions. You call him my agent. You don't like my accent. Antonio, don't walk in the ants. Oh, oh. Me. Ants, ha, ass, ants. So what? That's I what think. I think of your lousy ants. Oh, <laughs> Mike, get Antonio's agent on the phone. Steve, get the rest of the programmers down here. You'll take five. <laughs> wow. I would say almost, yeah, it's better than the game. Sure. It's almost better than the game. I wasn't really a fan of dying. Yeah. Stunt! Stunt, stunt double! double. <laughs> hey, I said stunt double! I am not doing this myself. I can break my neck. What's well, alright, dude? It only took us 47 times launching your ass into the just house. do it. <laughs> I was gonna say, you have, Duke Darian was your uh, Our stunt double. Was. Yeah. <laughs> She can't. She quit yesterday. What? Why? People, people work with me here. I'm, I'm sensing reluctance. Now, please, just do the job before we lose the assay set, alright? Doesn't this scene take place at night? We're shooting day for night. It's cheaper. The artist will fix it in post. <laughs> oh, I see. Off the set, Billy. But I wanted to watch him break his neck. <laughs> Get out! He's nervous enough about doing the scene without you watching him. <laughs> Rude. This is ridiculous. I swear, I'll sue if something goes wrong. This is what happened to Margaret Hamilton, you know? Just do it! And action! Oh! Oh! Ow! Worker's oh. cop! Worker's oh. cop! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Oh God, this is so <laughs> I love it. This game is so awful and so good. This adventure game is a work of fiction and is protected under the law under general heading of parody, which means we really hope we can get away with everything we said and did in the game. If not, we'll just fall back on the old the people and events described here and bear no relation to any people or imagined people and events loophole. A total of 34 animals were injured or maimed in the making of this game. After all, we wanted something, but I didn't Complete get it. realism. Oh, thank you. Lord. <laughs> I bet, okay, I bet the 34 changes depending on how oh, many- Oh, oh, it's re-going again. I bet it depends on how many you killed in the shooting gallery. Oh, but I only killed two. Well, I don't know, maybe you got 34 points. Eh, I'm not sure. Who cares? Well, anyway, that was Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. You guys are welcome for that, because that game- is a treasure. Is a treasure. <laughs> a national treasure. I, I can't believe that I had never heard of that game before I went on the Sierra Games Wikipedia page. I'm sad that it's not more well known. I'm sad that it's not more well known. That game, minus the, you know, jumping into the schoolhouse 800 times, um, was yeah. actually really good. Really good. Um, I'm kind of interested in playing it with the voiceover to see exactly how racist they went with the voice casting on that. Yeah. Um, Based on the music, probably a lot. Yeah, probably <laughs> a lot, I'm sure. Well, anyway. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you again next time. Yeah, um, Teddy and I will be streaming Phantasmagoria on Sunday. Mm. Do we have a time? I'm not going to be there, but they'll I was saying around noon, 1130, but you said maybe 1. Okay, somewhere between 1130 and 1 o'clock on Sunday, if you guys are interested in... Mountain time. Uh, yeah, Utah time. 
if you guys are interested in watching Phantasmagoria Chapter 2, um, I have no idea where the boobs, hopefully no weighing will be in that <laughs> one, um, but again, that one is uncensored, so be aware. It all depends on if I have my camera on or not. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Julia's not going to be home. You. <laughs> Right. Cancelous Phantasmagoria. Woo! Yeah. Y'all have a good night. See you later. Bucket Thanks list for coming. checked off. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.